I would ask that you, you try as much as you can. Uh, to there cannot be personalization when okay. the man has done Dr. Dr. Sari is not the returning officer it's for the presidential that elections. are just pure fabrications about my person, and you think that it is personalization. Samson, do you know what it takes for one to go around the 275 constituencies of this country campaigning to be elected as the leader of your political party and to represent your political party? In terms of fuel and logistic mobilization, do you know what it takes? In terms of risk, then somebody just come and sit down and tell lies and you say that I'm personalizing it. Take it easy and let me talk. This is the Electoral Commission and Samson, I've sent you the communications between myself and the Electoral Commission. I've seen them. The letter that the Electoral Commission gave me, the letter the Electoral Commission gave me, is no different from the letter that they gave to the other political parties. And you want me to sit down and tolerate these kind of lies? Samson, this is the letter and if you want you can put it on your platform. Presidential Nomination Vetting Committee report. I bring you greetings from the Presidential Nomination Vetting Committee and trust that this letter finds you well. I'm sure Kofi Sian will read the same thing to you. The Nomination Committee has detected the underlisted anomalies with your nomination forms. One, incomplete particulars of supporters, pages 9, 10, 37. 39, 42, 46, 50. They said one, there was no two. So if they have detected incomplete particulars of my supporters, Thompson, are they the same things that Bosman is sitting on your studios and talking about? So these incomplete records or particulars refer to a date that is omitted, refer to a police station name that is omitted, refer to a police station code that is omitted, refer to a telephone number that is omitted, and sometimes on one set of forms, all the information is provided. On some other forms, the information is not provided, so we simply corrected them and returned them to the Electoral Commission. Thompson, these are the errors the Electoral Commission identified and brought to my attention on the 14th and on the same 14th, the corrections were done to the Electoral Commission. On the 20th, take note, 14th to the 20th is six days clear. On the 20th, when I started getting calls from other aspirants, and I keep telling people that the political space is just a circle. All of us are inside there and we play together. I know what problems the CPP have, or faced. I know what problems the LPG faced. I know what problems every political party face with their nomination forms because we talk to each other. In the end, I called Jean Mensa, she could not respond. I called Samitete, she could not respond. I called Dr. Bosman. He responded and said over the night, the committee gave them some uh, report. They have issued letters, but he was heading to the office. And that upon reaching office, he will get back to me. Dr. Bosman is here to get to the office since the 20th of September. All calls placed to Dr. Bosman were declined. But on the 20th, Subsequently, you got, on the 20th, you that got they a letter from the EC. Ready to respond to me, I commissioned my lawyers to write to them. My lawyer's letter got to them at 11 a.m. At 1.17 p.m., Kisi Asante sent me Did you lose Bernard there? On Tuesday. And in that meeting, our IT team will be there. And each party is supposed to come with two representatives. And we have civil society uh, also to be present in that particular meeting. That's not yes. an IPAC? No, that's an IPAC. Okay. So in that particular, we expect that since this is more technical, if a party is bringing two persons, I expect that one of them should be a technical person. And the commission is going to do a presentation on all we have done on the voters register and something let me make this point clear the register was given to the parties in 2020 the register was given to the parties again in 2023 so i know any party should have that and we've again given the registers to the parties in 2024 for each district we've given to the parties 
So what the commission is saying is that if you are a party and you have the capacity to know that what the EC has given to you is the right one or it's not, once we finish this meeting and we give you the register, you should be able to know. For example, in 2020, going into the elections, we had almost 17 million, 27,000 registered voters. In 2023, we added a little over 910,000 onto the register. And in 2024, we've added, in the first phase of the registration, we did almost 777,000. Then during the mop-up, we added almost 100,000. So when you put all these numbers together, we are doing almost 18.8 .8 million people. After the exhibition process has concluded, then we will know those who have been removed by way of deceased Okay. and other things so the party should be able to know so what the in on tuesday when we do the presentation are you I suggesting should, you are open to the audit the audit is in the is in the law ci 23 no ci 91 regulation 23 regulation 24 something maybe joy must share that particular ci publicly it's an audit of the voters register commission is not against anything but what we are saying is that what the law has provided for why do you want us to depart from it? Well, we have, the election is barely two months away. Mm -hmm. And we have a system in place provided by law, which we used to clean. And we, we did that in 2020. We did that last year, 2023. And we are applying the same procedure. And the commission is fully convinced that we are going to get a final register that is credible, that is robust, and that will be uh, fit for the 2024 general election. And Kofi, as a